Maybe that's good. I think it's good. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get over here and let's go live. Add on monetization. Um, today has been a pretty stressful week for me. So sorry for things, you know, I feel like I'm constantly late. Um, it's been, you know, sort of, sort of stressful. I've been everywhere, um, at the same time and, you know, making sure the house is clean, going grocery shopping, taking care of the kids while also working. So it, it's definitely tough, but I appreciate you guys being here. Um, Right now's a good time to add an ad. That's what it says. Uh, first, love your feeds, Matt. Thank you. Um, hi, bro from the Philippines. Thank you for watching. Um, good morning from Sydney, Australia. Thank you for watching. Uh, bro, get some new curtains. I am going to get some new curtains. Not some new curtains over there. I don't really want curtains. I want a... Um, like one of those, uh, what's it called? The shutter type of things, the indoor shutters that, that, uh, you know, take out light completely. It like frames your whole window. I want to get that, but uh, eventually I'll get it. Not right now. I don't need to spend the extra money when a curtain works just fine. <clears throat> what's up, Matt? Uh, you hear the lunatics news? No, I haven't. What's the, what's the new news on lunatics? I literally just like woke up. Uh, I finally woke up to catch uh, a live. Uh, Ubo real as it gets. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. We need that 1.2% burn ASAP. The interest is going down for, for classic. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't think, I don't think the interest is, um, you know, falling rapidly, but I do think you're right. The interest is going down because people um, want to see it happen already. And when people make money or people get to a point where they make money, they just take that unless they see a path to something higher. And if we don't see that path, we don't see that uh, implemented, it's going to be tough. So from what I hear, there's multiple dates. There's like um, August the 12th, there's uh, September. They're like There's multiple dates that people keep on bringing up. And I hope, uh, good morning, we are burning 150 million more Luna today. 150 mil million more Luna today. That's amazing. Let's uh, let's look at that. I didn't even see it because I was looking up SHIB. I think yesterday. Um, but let's go ahead and look at that. They already have 4,500 followers. Amazing. A thousand likes and retweets. Uh, time to be fixed. I don't know what that means. Um, so, uh, 150 million Lunic will be burned today, uh, later today, I don't, I would assume. So this is crazy that they're doing this. It's absolutely insane that they are doing it. And that was retweet or that was tweeted yesterday, 11 hours ago. They're doing work, man. Um, they're definitely doing work. M Matt, are you legit, bro? I'm pretty legit. Yeah, I think so. Hey, Matt, how can I claim my Luna Classic rewards from holding Lunatics token? It should automatically go into your wallet. So for my MetaMask, um, you're going to see here that I'm at 34.2, 34.2. Uh, yesterday, I was at 34.12, um, and then I rose basically 80,000 uh, tokens. So it got me up to 34.2, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, by the way, we all appreciate your time and insight. Thank you. Well, thank you for saying that. I appreciate the kind words. Um, let's see. Did, whoops, let's go back here. Did you hit the like button yet? You know, that always works. So I have to, I have to ask the community. Um, 150 million is good. It's it's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's literally getting better every single day, right? We saw 50 million, then 100 million. Now we're seeing 150 million. So we're obviously burning off more and more every single day of, uh, you know, Terra Luna Classic. So you're seeing a vision to where Lunatics token can burn off more and more and become the leader in how much has been burned off. Like at this point, I think... 
uh, let's go down. I think they did post something about Lunatics 2.0. This is yeah, this is a, a scam, I guess. Don't don't follow that. Make sure make sure you don't get uh, caught up in any type of scam um, because there's always somebody creating something. <clears throat> so I wanted to see. Here we go. So. Um, once they burn off another 150, it's going to bring them up to 300 million, which will pass Lu uh, Lunic Dow. And then all they have to do is pass MEXC, and then they, they, they are the top burner for Luna Classic in a matter of, uh, I don't know, seven days or so, six days or so, um, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, how many projects will it take to burn the first trillion coins? How long? So... I don't think it will take a crazy amount of projects. Um, it depends how many gets implemented, but um, we need the 1.2% to uh, be implemented across all transactions because if we're seeing, you know, millions of dollars going through um, Terra Luna Classic and then only maybe one or $2 million going through uh, Lunatics Token, it's going to take a while for Lunatics Token to burn off a trillion because it hasn't even burned off a billion yet. Um, so... If we could see 1.2%, we could see billions that are burned per day um, rather than hundreds of millions, which even with uh, Lunatics token, if we could get to a point where it can burn, uh, you know, 250 million or 500 million every single day, then every other day we're burning off a billion, it still would take uh, around 500 days at that point to burn off of a trillion, right? So obviously we need some... Uh, we need a couple more projects and a couple more things that are reg that are implemented regularly in order to see that. So you don't really need a crazy amount of projects. You really only need the 1.2% burn, uh, in my opinion. Finally, you're on. Appreciate your content, bro. Well, thank you. I'm sorry for the wait. Yeah, it's been it's been difficult trying to make sure the that everything gets done in the house. Um, but I have to uh, take the kids to daycare later today. So at 9.30, I, or around 9 o'clock, I take them to daycare. Um, so it's probably not going to be the longest stream in the world. Uh, share your screen. Yeah, I can share my screen. I'm fake? How, how am I fake? <laughs> Please explain. Uh, scam warning, Luna 2, uh, Luna 2.0 is not the same as Luna T. Yes, you, you are correct. That is a, that is a scam. Hey, thank you for telling the, the world about them, uh, dragging their feet, uh, implementing the 1.5 or 1.2% 1 tax. We are missing opportunity. We are, we are. I don't, I don't want to sit here and, and say that, you know, they're doing a horrible job. Like I said in the video, I don't want to say they're doing a horrible job. I'm not spreading any type of FUD. I'm not getting angry at them. I just, uh, as we look at the situation that's at hand, we are missing, you know, valuable opportunity, you know, especially when it comes to the overall volume in Lunatics token, uh, or sorry, not Lunatics token, Lunic token um, or coin. Um, because if we're looking at 100 million, um, we could see 200 million, we could see 300 million, we could see 500 million, right? We could see a billion dollars in volume. Um, but over the last couple of months, that's billions of dollars of volume that we're missing out on that we could have uh, implemented the 1.2% tax on and it would have uh, burned off quite a bit of Terra Luna Classic. Um, but right now, like I said, we're, we're missing that opportunity. If you have your... If you have your crypto in MetaMask, how do you sell? Uh, do you need to transfer to a broker and then sell, uh, or can you sell from MetaMask? I've never been able to sell from MetaMask. What I do is I transfer it to a stable coin and make sure it's a stable coin that's actually stable. So I'll I'll go over to either PancakeSwap or I'll do it directly in MetaMask and I'll transfer it directly to maybe BUSD. And then when you transfer it to BUSD, it'll say, um, it'll say how much it's worth and that's pinned to the dollar. So you'll really know exactly how much it is worth. Let me show you. I'll go in the pancake swap because that's where I usually do it just to get it uh, simple. So let me bring up pancake swap. So yeah, I would go, if I'm looking to sell whatever position, let's say it's uh, Luna or Luna T I didn't connect my wallet. <clears throat> let's say it is um, Luna or Luna T right. And I just, uh, transfer it to BUSD and that's a stable coin. So if you just transfer all of it, you're going to see $979. And then what I do is I take that 
and I send it to um, another exchange. Like I'll probably send it to crypto.com and then, you know, withdraw it or I'll, I'll just change it to um, not BUSD. I'll change it to like Dogecoin or something, something that can be converted to other exchanges because Luna T you can't, you can't sell or send to other exchanges um, because it's only on um, pancake swap. It's only on MetaMask that you can buy it. So uh, it's definitely a difficult situation there because you have to make multiple uh, transfers, but it, it's fine for me. Uh, as long as you're, you're finding a way to increase your money, any, any small fees that I'm paying, I'm perfectly fine with. <laughs> <clears throat> we will take the number one spot and and keep pushing. Let's burn Luna together. That's exactly what it's about. Family, exactly just what uh, want to be negative for no reason. Yeah, I, I don't understand. Uh, what is up with uh, Lunic X? I don't know what Lunic X is. Hi, Matt. Nice gray wall. It's not a gray wall. Come on, man. Let's not start this. <laughs> uh, can I convert from uh, Luna Classic to Luna the latest in pancake swap so you can you can change your luna classic to lunic or lunatics if that's what you're talking about but this is not the latest luna coin this is a a um a token for the ecosystem that helps burn off the lunic price so or the lunic supply so uh i don't recommend going from lunic to lunatics I just look at it as holding both. If you're looking to hold Luna or Lunatics, you're looking to support Lunic. So you should be holding both if you are supporting Lunatics. Uh, did you see all the 6 million, 7 million burns on Kronos yesterday? Wow. Um, there was 6 million, $6 million or 6 million. Let's look at their, their things. I haven't talked about Kronos in a little bit. They're currently up to 13 cents. Um, we're not seeing any type of uh, change over in the circulating supply over here. But let's go and look at uh, this over here and see if we could find maybe some holders or some burns that are going through. So 6 million, 7 million, 7 million. Um, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Obviously, we'll take that any day. But the, the issue is that um, none of these, these numbers are changing what's on coin market cap. So from what I understand, some of that burning uh, could be, um, you know, changing over to the like Ethereum blockchain or changing different blockchains there rather than actually burning it. So... Yeah, because when you convert it, it has to burn in one uh, blockchain in order to be live in another one. Does that make sense? Uh, does each transaction or does each exchange need to incorporate the 1.2% burn? From what I understand, they do have to agree to doing that. But obviously, if it's done, um, you know on chain then it makes sense for that to be implemented within the exchanges um, but i think exchanges are ready we've seen many exchanges already ready to implement that especially something like mexc um, ready to implement it and has already done their own but uh we would like to see something bigger luna classic needs to be below 990 billion supply I think it needs to get under, um, you know, 10 billion or a hundred billion, right? Obviously it needs to get, uh, around a trillion to see a, a, uh, $10 billion market cap. And that will be one penny, but, um, that's hopefully I said a trillion. So around a trillion will be a, at a $10 billion market cap would be one penny. If it got a lot lower, obviously it would be way easier to get to one penny, but you know, we're pushing for, um, the simplest prices, um, not crazy prices, because right now one penny would still be a $65 billion market cap, which is not insane. It is higher, but it's not insane. Uh, Lunatics saw its uh, biggest buy yesterday, 88 BNB. That's phenomenal. 
Can you show us that the MetaMask Luna T screen again? The MetaMask Luna, I can't see any earned tokens. You didn't share your screen before you, uh, you didn't see any earned tokens. Okay, yeah. So here we go. I have my 34.2. Um, yesterday I had 34.1, 34.12 when I started, I think the stream in the morning and ended at 34.2 today, this morning. So I gained about 80,000 um, tokens throughout that. <clears throat> We're missing a lot of opportunity. Um, someone said, wait, what? Where was that at? I don't know where that at. Uh, what's up, Matt? Do you think Lunatics would hit one cent before Luna Classic? It definitely has a potential to hit one cent because Lunatics token only has a hundred billion, right? And or technically ninety nine bill or ninety billion, and they're burning off more and more every single day. Um, so I think it has probably just based on the supply more potential to get there. That would be a like one hundred. Uh, million dollar market cap or something so yes i think it does have potential but you still you know are at risk of like of saying how much but how much uh hype or how much popularity does lunatics token actually have right if we go back to lunatics token how much does it actually have because Currently, you're seeing volume of 586,000, which is 44% less than what you saw uh, previous days. And you can see here the number of holders, number of addresses are going down. We have 1,253 addresses that are holding it. Um, obviously, you hit some sort of a wall at 1,300, and now it's starting to resist with the amount of addresses that do hold it. You do see a number that's going into the dead wallet. You see a certain amount that's going into uh, burning, which is really good, and a number of um, dollars that are going into liquidity and marketing and all of that, which is really, really good to be able to you know build interest for the token. And that's why I keep talking about it because, you know, you keep building interest for the token and um, yeah, seeing this thing run so that, um, you know, lunatics or sorry, not lunatics, Terra Luna Classic can, you know, reach that level that we want it to reach, which is a penny or a dollar, you know. Let me, let me change uh, something here. I got my my stuff here. I want to change it because since I didn't know that Lunatics was going to burn off, I didn't even check Twitter at all last night. Do, 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 do. Bring this up. And then we'll change that. No, oh, but how's everybody? How's everybody doing today? I want to. I want to know how people are doing. I understand how you know we're we're so into exactly what the market's doing, and I'm I'm hype around uh, what we're doing in the market. Um, but you know, I want to know how people are doing. Another one hundred fifty million. Boom. Let's dial that back. And let's color that. There we go. Maybe I'll, I'll change the color of that to yellow. No, not yellow. Maybe yellow. Yeah, that'll work. Sure. 
All right, we got 325 people here, guys. Continue to hit that like button. Uh, again, you know, uh, we have 180, 190 likes. I do appreciate people answering the polls. Uh, these changes take time to implement. You guys need to have patience and work hard. Um, it's hard work. Anyone complaining about how long the proposals are taking? Have have you contacted every validator, validator yourself? Doubt it. Yeah, well... Yeah, I, I understand that. I know they're working hard. I know they're absolutely working hard. And I'm no way complaining about the fact that, you know, we are not seeing anything, right? Uh, because we are seeing things, right? We're seeing testing. We're seeing different stages of this. It's it's definitely taking a little bit. Um, but the only thing I'm saying is the fact that we are, and this is a fact, missing out on a lot of volume that's happening right now in the beginning stages of this. If this was implemented literally right from the jump, right from the gate, um, it would have been massive and we would have burned off trillions already. I guarantee it, we would have burned off trillions. With the billions of dollars, like literally tens, um, if not hundreds of billions of dollars worth of volume in the past you know, two months or so, um, it, it's been pretty big. And then we would have seen more when we had the path because it would have been, you know, not just one billion a day or two billion a day. It would have been, you know, five billion a day or 10 billion a day um, in some of these areas. And people would have been taking profit and taking profit also includes the burn tax. So um, either way, it's it's helping out in a big way. And I, what I'm saying is that we're just missing out on opportunity. And I hate missing out on opportunity, but I understand that it does take long to implement. How much lunatics uh, you buy in at again? I had 41, uh, 41.6. I sold 20 million um, the other day and uh, uh, converted that over to Lunic. And now I'm holding 21.6, I believe. Told you, man, you should have matched uh, my three B and B at presale. Yeah, probably. I probably should have. Uh, like I said, I didn't have that much to to buy with because during presale, it was right around the time I was getting paid from YouTube. So um, it was it was a sticky situation or a tricky situation uh, there. So I decided to add one more B and B. I'm glad I added that one B and B rather than just going with point four um, because you know, gave me quite a bit and I was able to turn, you know, at least half of that into, um, 1,300 of realized, uh, gains and then putting that into Lunic to gain me a little bit more so far. Lunatics and Lunic perfect together. It seems that way. Yes. Adam, have you got uh, profit from your three B and B sale yet? I agree. Absolutely. Like realized profit. Like six thousand dollars. That's that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. There is a Luna T two token. Uh, it's not Luna T. Be careful. Yes, that do not get scammed because they're always looking for different ways to scam people. They are. There's so many people out there that are looking to scam people, and it's sad, but you know they do it. I'm telling you, folks. Uh, MTS is the the play. Play to earn first person shooter. Two hundred thousand dollar market cap. 20 million supply uh it's down 99 percent. it's going to explode uh pull 10x in a day type move soon hopefully you're right uh, again uh, some of these plays it's not about risking um you know a thousand dollars or twenty thousand uh, dollars some of them and some people end up doing it to see a massive gain um but then some people don't see that massive gain and other people do Right? It just depends on what you invest into and how lucky you are and how many people come and support it as well. So it's a lot of plays that I see, I try and put a, especially if it's more high risk, I put a lower amount into it. Like you see what I did with uh, Luna Classic. Um, I bought in with $40. Um, I was going to buy in with 300 because I'm willing to risk that much, but I bought in with $40 and I could have... Um, I could have bought in, sorry, I could have bought in a lot more, but I decided not to. Um, well, um, for the one that was on MetaMask, I really only had the option to buy $40 because that's all I had on there. But 
I did have the option to put more money into MetaMask, um, go through that waiting period and then buy it. But by the time I did that, the price rose way higher than where it was. Right, literally, it was it was at a very low point where I bought sixty three million for forty dollars, and then maybe five minutes later, it was already back up to where it cost you know a hundred dollars for um, you know like twenty million or thirty million. So um, within a matter of minutes, I already made money out of that, and I'm sure a lot of other people saw the same thing. <clears throat> I missed out on Luna presale. Um, is it even worth getting into now? Um, I think it's worth it, right? Um, the reason why I think it's worth it is because it does show more potential for what you're holding in Lunic as well as giving you rewards in Lunic. So if you're looking to gain some rewards, you can gain some. Because right now, basically, if you invested, let's say, let's go back here. If you invested $100, $100 would get you $2.2 million. Now, you could still see, you could still receive Lunic out of that by having the 2.2 million um, and it wouldn't risk you a crazy amount. Now, is Luna T going to, you know, absolutely skyrocket to crazy levels to where uh, this gets to maybe a hundred million dollar market cap? It's unknown, right? It, it's unknown right now. We don't really have like the, you know, the craziest backing. It's insane to see how many people are, um, you know, looking at this and, you know, seeing this as you know very valuable as something that's brand new you know um again people are holding on to not only their initial investment uh, but they're holding on to like at least half of what they what they had so if they invested let's say four hundred dollars they grew it to uh three thousand dollars or so they sold you know 50 percent of it and holding on to the rest of it to see if it does run but they have already gained their profit back so Yes, you missed out on the largest gain that you could probably have, um, but over time, this could still be a really big gain. Uh, I don't understand why everyone uh, supports Luna Classic. Doesn't wait. I don't. I don't understand why everyone who supports Luna Classic doesn't buy Luna T. They burned 150 million coins, to, and today they're burning another 150 million coins. Wake up and start helping the burn coins. Yeah, I, I don't understand it either. Your title didn't age well? What do you mean? Why didn't my title age well? It's, it's up 7.84%. 7 Don't know what you're talking about. I do want to change the title, though. Recession is confirmed. By who? I do want to change the title, though, because I was looking to change it to 150 million. But things are definitely running. Recession uh, only gets confirmed by, well, they they get confirmed by the news sources, which want a a reaction out of it usually that's where it comes from where it's like oh well, you know what recession's going to happen we're guaranteeing it and then people react based on that news but it it only gets confirmed by the actual actions of a recession Terra Luna Classic today. Boom. Now we're getting started. Lunatics Project has <clears throat> has a 100x opportunity rate. Um, now that we have uh five upcoming AMAs are 
Wait, our first starting today? That sounds great to me. Hopefully I can be a part of any, you know, AMAs and just, you know, be there. But it's great to be able to see, the, you know, you burning a ton of tokens or coins. Luna is good, is good as long as you get the tattoo on your shoulder. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that. Uh, unless, I mean, maybe it could be possible. Um, Matthew, so if I bought for $1,000 in USTC for the long term, <clears throat> is it a mistake? Is it a mistake? I don't think it's a mistake. I think you have growth potential, but I do think once you see your initial investment captured or at least double your initial investment, you probably take some profit. Um, I wouldn't say it's a mistake. I don't ever like to advise people to, to, to buy. If you're really questioning whether it's going to be the largest like mistake or anything, you need to look at the chart. You need to do some research for yourself because if you actually do a little bit of a research, you know, you'll understand even the slightest bit of research, you'll understand that it does have growth potential where it is right now. <clears throat> and, um, you know, what you can get from it is just uh, so much more out of holding, you know, this to get Lunic. If you are holding Lunic as well, then you're gaining more Lunic on top of it, as well as burning off the, uh, the supply of uh, Lunatics token. So if you bought $1,000 worth, that would be 20 about 22 million, which is what I'm holding. So I'm still holding it for the long term. But remember, I've gained my initial investment already. I've already um, taken $1,300 profit off of a $400 investment. So you have to understand that as well. Could you give me some Luna tea, please? I don't have any Luna tea to give because I'm not a partner in it. Um, if I was a partner, then maybe, but I'm not a partner. Um, it's just add Lunic token on my MetaMask. I can see that that I'm receiving some passive income from holding Lunatics token. That's what we like to hear. Um, does distrust for for Quan play into Luna or Lunar? Um, like what is what is Lunar? So I think. People not trusting uh, Do Kwon is, uh, I mean, I, I don't know how to think about it because technically he could come back and do whatever he wants with uh, Luna Classic. And I'm sure he's just waiting for the community to build something absolutely special um, and implement something special and show their support for what's happening here. And then when uh, Luna Classic gets back to where it was and reestablish the algorithm and all that stuff that we want to see, um, Eventually, I'm sure he'll step back in. It's just sad that 220,000 people own Terra Luna Classic and only 1,200 people uh, or so people own Luna T, which really burns the coin here. Yeah, I, I would agree. We need to get the word out that this does burn. And I think um, as you're seeing it every single day, they're doing more and more. I mean, there's 4,580 people that are following Lunatics Token on Twitter. So why not have at least half of that 2000 or 4000 or 3000, whatever the amount of followers there. And you could probably say the same thing for, um, for Shiba Inu because Shiba Inu has 3.3 million people that are following it. But Shiba Inu is, uh, the Twitter account is not only about SHIB, it's about bone leash, the metaverse, all of the different pieces, but they just label it as SHIB token, uh, the official SHIB token Twitter account. But this is the official lunatics Twitter account. So uh, hopefully, you know, they keep gaining traction because you could see here 900 likes, 621 retweets. That's a big deal. That's a really, really big deal. Bro, I'm a huge fan. Wait, I'm a huge fan. Me and my uh, my people have found a completely abandoned coin. Uh, it has no owner, no devs, and we have started reviving it. It's called uh, Hash Panda. 77% of the coin has been burned. Please check it. Uh, there are also 750,000 holders. Why has it been abandoned? It's been abandoned for a reason. 750,000 holders. And um, are you seeing it down a lot? And are you sure it has no devs? No owner. Completely uh, renounced.
because sometimes uh, people thinking that it doesn't have an owner, it actually does have an owner. So we'll look into it. Well, it doesn't have... There's 60,000 people that are watching it, but there's no data and in, in coin market cap. It does have 750,000 holders. Um, I do want to go back here. Let me just copy that. Uh, and then I want to go over here. Token sniffer. So let me go over here. Let me bring up token sniffer. Let me put the the information in token sniffer to see in that detail there. So it was created in May uh, 2021. Uh, eight percent buy, eight percent sell. That's not horrible. Um, ownership renounced, or so it looks like the ownership has been renounced. Um, but yeah, it has a ninety percent. Why was it abandoned then? I don't see. Well, if it has that many holders, why is it not on Coin Market Cap? What What is the price of what's going on there? You have Dex Greener. Uh, it has a lot of tokens, but it has so many addresses that are holding it. That doesn't make sense. This is one of those things that doesn't really make sense. You have 76% that's burned off. Uh, but this is one of those coins that just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't, I don't know how to, how to think about that. Uh, I don't know if it's a hidden gem, um, but I, I would say no. Now, do you know why the rewards have uh, I've gained from Lunatics token they show on Trust Wallet as Luna Portal, not Luna Classic? I have no idea on MetaMask. Do you do you usually have it on MetaMask? Is that where you have your Luna? It might just show differently on MetaMask because that's how MetaMask shows it. Um, I know for a while, um, you know, or not MetaMask, um, Trust Wallet. So if, I know for a while on MetaMask, it was showing Luna instead of Lunic, and now it's showing Lunic. And then for some people, it's still showing Luna. So it just depends on however they want to report it. So I don't know the answer to that, but I wouldn't think anything of it. I knew about... Wait, I only knew about Luna T from Matt. Was Luna T properly promoted to the Luna community? So it was, it was promoted, but it wasn't something that was like overly um, hyped into different areas. Because the problem is, is that when you're creating something new, you can't you can't just get behind something when you don't know all the details behind it. So they were trying to. Um, you know, give out all the details, be as transparent as possible. But the issue is that with new tokens, there's always people coming up with new things. And some of those things could be scams and you never know. And they could be the most transparent things in the world and you never know. So uh, it was very tough to uh, kind of get, get the name across to a lot of people, especially since the Lunatics Discord group really didn't want to have any type of part with that. Uh, so that takes out a certain amount of the community. I think Terra Rebels was okay with it. I'm not 100% sure if they were um, okay with it, but um, I believe they were. And if you can continue to have all of the people over there, I got this from, from Harper's thing. I don't even know what this is. It's like a stretchy something. Um, but as long as you do have... Um, you know, support from it, we can see a little bit of growth. And I tried to push out as much as I could because I didn't see as much of a connection with the Luna or Luna community, you know? So uh, I think it's going to take a little bit to, you know, do burns and show that you're, you're doing big things. So when people see the coin or token, they buy into it. Um, and they know what it does. They know how much it supports it. The problem now is that people people uh, questioned what it was going to be. They were like, hey, 
This is going to be a, a pump and dump right from the start. You're going to see it launch and then they're going to take all your money from you. Well, people saw a 6x return, um, if not more than that, and um, maybe even a 10x return at that point. Um, no, it wasn't that high. It was probably like a 6 or 7x return. And um, they're, they're happy with it. People took their initial investment. Yes, you're seeing it decrease a little bit because they're taking their initial investment. They're jumping on that opportunity or they had that opportunity and uh, now they're um, you know getting some of those profits from that opportunity. And all of these people that questioned it say, I missed out on my opportunity and I understand where you're coming from. You did miss out on that six or seven X opportunity, but you still have a potential chance to help out the Luna Classic coin, right? If we're holding onto a position, you buy $100 worth and you turn that into 1,000. Uh, if you wanted to take the whole thing, it's fully understandable if you do. Right, because you're burning in the beginning, you're burning in the end, um, and you're also providing more um, coins for people that are holding lunatics. So it's a win-win-win in a large scenario. So if they're burning off again, 150 million that they burned off, and they're burning off another 150 million today. So they're doing big things, and we'll see that do nothing but increase. As long as you know this volume that we can see over on Coin Market Cap uh, grows. Uh, I was airdropped that. Uh, it's a new coin. It looks really good to me. All right, I I don't like being just airdropped out of nowhere a coin. I don't touch it. Uh, I've been airdropped multiple coins and tokens and NFTs, and I don't touch them. Even though they're worth something, I still don't touch them. Uh, do you think uh, SLP and GMT and GAO will come up to uh, in one to two months? It's um, previous price before May. Um, it's previous price before May. So I don't know how far they've fallen, but I know things have been falling for a little over a year now. So if we look at it, uh, around, you know, you're looking at the $18 mark. I can definitely see Gal, uh, Gala get up to that point. Um, hopefully this is not even it. Are you talking about Gala or Gal? Because you typed Gal. So I would imagine you're saying Project Galaxy or Gala. But yes, either, either way, I still believe that um, they will make their comebacks. You will see the crypto market make some moves. Now, is it going to happen in one to two months? I I don't know, right? I don't know if we're still going to stay in this consolidation phase that we're at or we're going to see things run uh, because it doesn't really show like crazy signs for um, it to skyrocket. I am starving um, and I'm definitely going to eat some breakfast before I take that. I don't ever eat breakfast, but now I have to because I think I ate too early yesterday. Um, and I didn't eat anything late at night. I did make my own milkshake for the first time in ever. I've never, I've never done it. So I made my own milkshake and it was delicious with um, chocolate marshmallow ice cream. And it was the best milkshake I've ever had. I was like, where have you been all my life? It did cost a lot um, to do that because it was basically a whole gallon of ice cream to make one glass of milkshake quart is it a quart no it's a gallon i don't know what it is it's it's something half a half a gallon probably a half thank you for that super chat nothing beats rice noodles and fish in the morning i think a lot of things beat that i think a lot of things beat that <laughs> rice noodles and fish no i could eat fish and chips any time of the day but I don't know about rice. I mean, don't knock it till you try it, I guess. Uh, so I guess you're right. Matt, change Lunatee's logo in your in your MetaMask. It bothers me. Uh, add it from CoinMarketCap. It will change it for you. Really? <clears throat> oh, this is Gala. Let me add... Uh, Go back to Luna T. I didn't know you can do that. I thought you had to just add it manually. I could also change, change Luna. Let's add that to MetaMask.
it, it does bother me that they are not that you don't see a logo in there um let's see where's luna t i don't have luna t there uh luna t uh where's that there it is there's so many people that created different luna things I didn't even know it does that. That's cool. I didn't know it does that. Uh, maybe I should change Zelda Inu too. Uh, where's Zelda? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know it does that. I thought it would just automatically change, but I guess not. Why did that not update the right way? Now shows that I have 3,500, uh, I don't even know how, that's not even the right amount of tokens. It's not even the right amount of tokens. What's going on here? Hmm. That's that's very interesting to me that that didn't come up the right way. Does it come up the right way if I refresh it? Because that's that's a loss of a lot of tokens. Where the hell did my tokens go? They're on my my phone. That's and then what happened to my Lunix tokens? Are they getting wiped out? Hold up, are they taking my Lunic tokens? Did I just get my stuff taken? I just get my stuff taken from me or was that just a change? My Lunic went missing yesterday as well. Damn, Matt. Well, it looks like I still have it. Oh, it still comes up as Luna. Yeah, it still comes up as Luna. I don't know why it would do that. I don't know how to refresh it, if you can refresh it. Not connected? You're scaring us, man. MetaMask be robbing people. No, I have it on my phone. My phone is showing everything. So it shows my Zeldinu, it shows my Luna, it shows my Luna T. So I'll take that as a as the fact that I still have it. Um, you're missing out on so much, uh, interest uh, to be earned by not being on KuCoin. I probably, but I also worry about exchanges and stuff like that. How much Lunic do I have? I have a uh, 34 million, 34 million Lunic. Hide or remove, then add it again. We'll do that. I will do that. I still have my Luna T. Uh, let's see, hide or remove. Uh, Zelda Inu. All right, now let's just add this again. Yeah, I don't know why it's telling me my balance is low. You put 3,000 in Lunic. Good work. Um, I hope it will will at least hit $1. I didn't put 3,000 in Lunic. I have 3,000 in Lunic. Right now, it's 3,300 in Lunic. 
it I put forty dollars into it. I'm earning forty five percent APR. That's amazing. Whatever happened to Sayatama Inu? Uh, I don't know. Three versions later? I don't really know. I haven't been near this uh stress since I heard about uh the call from the from the daycare. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was that was pretty stressful. That was pretty stressful. Uh, it's transferred uh, to my wallet, probably. Glitch in the matrix. Hey Matt, can you give your opinion on uh, ATG? I think right now we're trying to figure out what's going on here. Chains to smart chain on MetaMask. So I was changed already to smart chain. Um, that's why it it shows up here like this because um, I'm on the main net. But it just shows up as a different, different thing here. Ever, ever since. So thank you to the person that told me to change the logo. I don't know who said that, but now I can't find my coins. Uh, do you believe in Lunic uh, to $100 again without Doquan? Um, do I believe in Lunic to $100 without Doquan? That's a tough question. I would say, I would say they they hacked you when you changed it. <laughs> change it back. I don't think I could change it back. I can't go back to the, the old logo. It won't let me. I mean, maybe I can add it. Let's see. Let's add this to metamask and it's going to say like it's it's not added or something and then i could add the custom token oh yeah see i add the custom token if it's a custom token it works so if i add the address it actually works that's funny um so let me go back to lunic or not lunatics lunic i don't know why it doesn't let me add the custom token there but thank you for that super chat. Uh, come and meet the the Mystic Poker Project flying. I've had my experience with poker projects. <laughs> it hasn't been great. See, it comes up as Luna. All right, there we go. So they're all here. Let's just leave it there and not refresh anything. Don't forget to hit the like button. Yes, don't forget to hit the like button, everybody. We have 352 likes, which is really good. This is my second time playing an ad. Um, so yeah, I tried to change the to smart chain. It didn't work. It was literally just whatever is going on with coin market cap there. If you didn't click any link, you didn't get hacked unless they got access to your web browser, which I doubt it. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't. I didn't think I got hacked, especially since I still have my Luna T in there. Um, that's also worth a thousand dollars, so I would imagine they would have taken that. I sold my all my crypto for a PS Five. That's good if you made some money from it. If you made money from um, you know crypto and you can do that um, and buy a PS Five, it's phenomenal. Um, I have a PS Five and an Xbox Series X. I love them both. I play them both. Um, so they're definitely worth it. Can you please verify Mystic Poker? Um, n no, can I verify? I can't verify anybody. I saw the poker thing and, and went, yeah, nah. <laughs> not a good place to, to advertise poker. Yeah, not, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> that's funny no you didn't get hacked it's just a glitch um you can see your lunic on on poo coin can't go broke making profit 100 percent true that is 100 percent true uh there is there a way to see your actual price on metamask and how do you transfer properly i like i like to use um coinbase so um yes you can see your prices usually on the mobile app. 
So for me, I can see all the prices on, on the mobile app here where I can see BNB that I have $37 worth. Zeldin, who I have $3,200. Um, Luna, I have, or Lunic, I have $3,347. And Luna T actually doesn't show a value yet. I think it has to be on multiple exchanges before it does that, but it doesn't show a value yet. Have you seen that BitMart is allowing SHIB staking? No, uh, I'm not doing any more SHIB staking. I still have my SHIB in, um, uh, what's it called? Crypto.com which I might move it over to MetaMask. I just don't know how much it's gonna cost. So I might move it over to MetaMask. I feel like I just like using MetaMask a lot. Can you talk about Vault Inu's upcoming swap and NFTs? Um, <laughs> probably not. Was that V3 that they have for Vault Inu? Yeah, I'll, I'll sort of pass on that. I don't know about their swap and NFTs. And I, I'm, I'm not invested in it, nor do I want to invest into it. So I probably won't uh, talk about it there. Not, not out of disrespect, literally, you know, out of all respect, I just um, am not invested into it. And I usually like to talk about things that I'm invested in um, or things that I plan on investing in. Like I talk about Ethereum because I'm invested in Ethereum. I talk about uh, Lunic and Luna T and Shiba Inu and Farmcoin and all these other positions that I actually haven't talked about in a while because I'm at, my balance is up to $9,381. And um, I haven't even checked what has increased, you know, what has got, you know, us to this point. And uh, it looks like Gitcoin's back up to $3 or so. You're seeing Harvest Finance that's, um, you know, still up to that $47 range. Um, Ethereum, obviously that's at a high price. I only hold uh, $249 worth. I probably should buy more uh, slowly. And that's Ethereum 2, which I'm gaining 3.25% on. Algorand, I have $308 uh, worth. Uh, Polymath, I have $400 worth. Loopring, I have $500 worth. It should be a lot more than that um gitcoin i've said that already and krill krill should be a lot higher than that it should be up to that hopefully dollar range and it'll get to six thousand dollars or six thousand one hundred dollars and it can go a lot higher than that so that's what i'm looking for hey matt can you give your uh i read that already um i keep asking the same question is that you keep asking the same question Um, it didn't cost that much to move, um, KY SHIB to my trust wallet from Coinbase. Popular coins are very low fees to transfer. Good to know. Uh, what do you think about the, um, 4159 guys? 4159 guys? What is that? Is that a proposal or something? Not a new proposal that I know of. Matt, just wanted to say how inspiring it is to see how you started and where, you, uh, where you've where grown to. You are the definition of uh, hard work paying off. Keep it up, man. Thank you for saying that. I, I really do appreciate that. That, you know, that means the world. Um, kind words go a long way. Being kind to people go a long way. And uh, I, I do try and work as hard as I possibly can. Uh, at everything, you know, not just, you know, working on, on YouTube and, you know, investing, but also, you know, the family and, you know, taking care of them and making sure that everything is great. Um, showing them love every single second of the day. So, uh, I appreciate you noticing that. You know, it means a lot. Matt, the lunatics community is very glad to have you as a, a supporter. Thanks again, uh, for holding some lunaty. We hope you get more. I love your content, been following uh, for a while now. Yeah, I mean, I hope in the end, uh, whoever is whoever is having, whoever has the most, um, in the end, whoever has the, the most, um, you know, lunatic out there and they notice as, as like a, 
a um, let's say if they're an owner or one of the founding members or core group um, and they notice how much of an impact I've had, hopefully they just say, hey, you know what? We want to send you some Luna tea for your appreciation. I would love that. You know, <laughs> obviously I would love that. But um, let's see this thing grow before we can you know, expect some sort of appreciation from the team because I'm putting out a lot of content, a lot of videos on this. And I think it's mainly for the reason that it's supporting um, Terra Luna Classic, but then also looking to see gains as well because I've already seen some gains. I would just like to see like, you know, appreciation. The appreciation that I wasn't getting in my uh, my main job and the reason why I quit my uh, my nine to five is because of a lack of appreciation. And I think there, there's a difference when it comes to people on, you know, people that watch YouTube, people that are uh, fans of other, uh, you know, YouTube creators um, and, you know, investing in general, like people are appreciative when they gain something out of it because it's money that they would have not um, had if they didn't make that investment. Can you look into BitTorrent, please? Mystical Poker released the game Saturday now. Airdrop active. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Luna T is great. Um, can I look at BitTorrent, please? So I don't hold BitTorrent, but I have looked at it. Uh, sorry. What is it? Is it BitTorrent new? BitTorrent new, I guess. Um, you're looking at a price 0 0.00000009. A lot of people see these prices and they're like, oh, it has so much opportunity. It can grow to a, um, one cent or a dollar. And that's definitely a difficult situation. Now, I don't know if they, they burn off any good thing is 100% of the supply is out there. Love to see that. Volume is up 62%. People do like it. You have 92,000 people that are watching it on a watch list. If you go to the contract, uh, I do want to go to the contract here and see the token holders. Uh, you're going to see a total amount of holders. Does it show me? Uh, holders 1,000 or 169,000 addresses that are holding, which is really good. Um, a 29% wallet is holding at the top, 23%, 10%. That's a large amount in the top wallets that are holding it. So... Now, that's something that's a red flag for me, but may not be a red flag for other people. So, either way, shows slight bit of potential, but uh, yeah, I, I won't look at it as something that I would invest into, mainly because um, when I do have different pieces that don't really sit well with me, I have to have something else that makes up in a large way, and I haven't seen that. Uh, I purchased the uh, Luna T on Pancake and I don't see any extra Lunic. Um, did you have, you bought it on Pancake Swap? What um, wallet are you using? Are you using a MetaMask or a Trust Wallet? Did you bridge your Lunic to Luna Portal? No. Uh, DM, wait. DMD all depends on the the burn flow because of my Luna rewards is on Luna portal. Do you need, wait, do you mean lack of appreciation? The CEO appreciated uh, that your eight hours of work to earn them millions <laughs> while they paid you hundreds, um, hundreds of thousands and then gave themselves millions of bonuses for your hard work. That seems to be correct. Like you look at all the sen uh, senior leaders within that organization and it's crazy because I see all the paychecks. I see everything, right? Literally working with, you know, payroll and fine and everything. I see everything. So you can't sit here and say, oh, well, you know what? This person, you can't hide salaries from me because I've seen all the salaries, all the paychecks, everything. I've, you know, I know it. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, while we're doing so much and then they say, um, you, can you create this? You create this, they do it for, use it for a presentation. They get high praise for doing that. They get a bonus based off the, the work that you did, but you don't see any of that bonus. Uh, so it, it's interesting to me. It's very interesting. Uh, and that's how, 
uh, you know, life works. I know people will say, hey, you know, life is unfair. Life is unfair. But if you don't like it, then change it. And that's exactly what I did. I didn't, I didn't like it. So I changed. I said, I don't want to be a part of this. And I said, literally before um, they were looking to like downsize in the finance department, I said that I wanted to leave, like I was going to make that room to leave. And I just wanted to help them out as much as I could. But when they made the the announcement that they were downsizing things and that they were paying out severance packages, I was like, this is the perfect opportunity. Why the hell not? You know, so uh, I got my severance package, which I believe I can I can talk about if I wanted to, but I got my severance package, I got everything that I had there, all my PTO, I got my last pay, I got a, a lot of money when I left. Um, and that just gave me more of a reason I could have left without getting all of that. And I was going to leave without getting all of that. But the fact that they gave me all of it just made it that much easier. <laughs> so Hi, Matthew. Will lunatics be listed on a famous crypto site? Do you think tips, uh, do you have tips for any new cryptocurrencies? Um, so one, I'm not, um, I'm not a partner in this. I didn't create lunatics token. So I don't know any type of tips behind creating new cryptocurrencies and all that stuff. But when it comes to investing in cryptocurrencies, you want to make sure it has the popularity and has something that it's sort of tied to that gives it more popularity. Um, because when you're a part of those pre-sales that have a lot of popularity, you know that things are going to run. Now you could also see things that absolutely run and dump right from the start. So you gotta make sure that you're in the right group and it's not just a popular group saying, hey, this is gonna run. You wanna make sure people are saying, hey, this is gonna be really valuable. You know, the difference between things just running and things being valuable is a huge difference. So you gotta make sure that you find those. Um, but will lunatics token be listed on any fable famous crypto sites? I believe they're working on things. That's why they have the marketing budget, um, so that they can work on a lot of this stuff and get fast tracked on other exchanges because they went from, um, not knowing how fast they would get on coin market cap to be listed, being listed on coin market cap in a matter of like two or three days, which is fantastic to be able to see that. Um, but then they could fast track on other exchanges, like smaller exchanges, maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know what other Binance exchanges there are, but a soft launch on Binance, you know, seeing um, launches on, I don't know, crypto.com, hopefully, and Coinbase, whatever. I just want to see them launch over there. But it, it may take a little bit unless they have the money to do so right now. They've already built up um, probably tens of, or hundreds of thousands of dollars at that point for marketing. I think it's 3% on marketing. So if they had about $3 million <clears throat> um, there, then you're you're looking at what, three, I can't even do math, 30,000? Is that right? $30,000 in, mar in marketing? That's not bad. If you had multiple days that were over a million. Is that right? I think that's right. Yeah. Now, the people who uh, set up Lunatics token was the same guys uh, who rigged the, rigged the ship Shin token? The hell are you talking about? <clears throat> I hold 1.3 million Luna T and finally received oh, 1,300 Luna C. Uh, seems like we get uh, Luna C for holding 1 million Luna T. Yes, if you hold at least, you got to hold at least 1 million to get something and 1 million, I think costs like $50 or something. Why you delete my messages? I didn't delete anything. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I, I know why they're being deleted is because all of them are just insanely negative. If you, if you want to, uh, you know, talk negatively, just, just go somewhere else to talk negatively, go find a different platform to, spam your negative comments. I'm okay with uh, negative conversations, but, um, and being able to, you know, talk about things. But the fact that you would come here and just spam negative comments, is ridiculous, when you don't even know what you're talking about. Again, like any situation. Do you know, uh, thank you uh, for doing that, though. I appreciate for uh, deleting those messages.
I uh, love the video explaining USTC and uh, Luna. I always think when we say USTC, I'm thinking USDT, but it's <laughs> USDC or USTC and Luna repegging. Could it, po could it be possible using uh, lunatics as defense against uh, uh, defense against attacks and use it to burn uh, USTC? So, um, maybe I don't know about burning USTC because it's already set up to burn Lunic. Um, but I think the idea would be that USTC, when it when it ends up depegging, so say it gets up to a dollar, we get Luna or Lunic back to its normal state, which I still will hold um, Lunic token then. Um, I won't hold all of it, but I will hold some. Obviously, I'm going to continue to to sell on the way up, and it will be a never ending chain of selling at certain places. Um, but um, I think the idea that would be best is to see uh, USTC when it depegs um, that Lunic will have the algorithm in place to now mint more coins. However, a portion of those coins that are minted will be burned by uh, Luna T. So it could be a really uh, big impact to the overall algorithm, right? Um, the algorithm could be in place that it connects um, Luna T as well. But that's, that's to be determined and that can always be worked out in a way to be added to um, this platform and I would imagine they would they would do that somehow some way adding in the coding in in some form or fashion I don't know how because that goes way over my head I have no idea how you would do that but I would imagine that would be the best case scenario to protect from um, attackers but you also need lunatics token to be more valuable uh, to be a higher market cap in order to see a larger impact to minting uh, Luna, or sorry, minting Luna and burning Luna. One question, Matt. Luna T reflections um, of Lunic will appear on MetaMask or Trust Wallet also. Thanks for keeping up the good video. So it should be on both. Um, and I believe it will only be on the, the wallet. So when exchanges end up happening and you buy on exchanges, I don't believe you'll be able to receive it there. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But... Um, because that's that's usually how that goes. You'll receive reflections, you know, in your, uh, you know, your wallet, but you won't receive it in your centralized exchanges. Jesus Christ! What's the chances we will uh, see it back to a hundred dollars again? Seems an amazing time to buy. What are the chances we're going to see the Lunic back to $100 again? Um, I would say the chances are probably somewhere around, let's say, maybe 10 to 20% at this point, uh, because we're still trying to figure out if we can get it back to some of these lower levels first um, and what the process will be. So I would say you still have a, a decent percentage chance. It's not like one out of or 1% chance or a 0.1% chance or anything like that. Like it's a pretty decent sized chance. Uh, how can we recruit devs from the Terra Labs? Terra Labs, what what do you think of applying a, a small tax for paying developers? If we can poach devs from, from Doquan, we can make uh, Lunic even better. I mean, that's not a, a horrible idea, but it'll just be it'll be it'll be tough i mean he definitely has a lot of support in everything that he creates i mean you could see um when he started to create luna 2 it was like who's on board and everybody decided that they were getting on board um and if you could find a way to bring people over but you don't want to bring people over just for the money you want to bring people over for their interest in what it can be right um it's you're kind of um I don't know, walking this like tightrope or fine line um, between people that are here for money and people that want to see things grow and also are only here because you paid them versus uh, people that like what it's going to be and want to be there. So I'd rather build um, slowly than try and pay people uh, who are already there unless they're 100% interested in seeing this thing run or uh, go to a, 
a different level and create new use cases and all that stuff. Was replying to a mod talking about GameStop. Oh, oh, that to get to $100. Got you. Thank you for the super chats, though. We have uh, about $24 in chat revenue, and I appreciate it. Um, yesterday surprised me with, you know, <laughs> Uh, a larger super chats or at least uh, one large super chat, which doesn't happen often. So I, I do appreciate it. And I wanted to mention it again, because I wanted you guys to, um, to, I wanted to show my appreciation, which again, is something that I never got, you know, in literally any job. I mean, I did get promotions and stuff from other jobs. Um, and I even got a promotion from this job, but it was more of one of those promotions where it's like, hey, we need you to do more work uh, in other areas. So we're going to give you this promotion so you can continue to do your work and do this new positions work as well. It's like, okay, perfect. Thanks. That's that's what I wanted. I wanted the confidence behind um, <laughs> how hard I'm working and you just give me more work for like 10% more pay, 7% more pay, actually. Sorry, I'm talking down that job so much. They're, I, I don't know how they're doing. I, I need to check in on them to see how things are going. Are you moving from CDC to MetaMask? I didn't, un, uh, or did I understand, um, did I not understand earlier? So I'm not moving everything from CDC to, or from CDC to MetaMask. Um, I would be moving some things to MetaMask. It's just right now my SHIB is just it's just sitting there and I'd rather see it every day on on screen since I can't get on the exchange online. Um, I'd rather see it, you know, in my MetaMask or somewhere else, Coinbase, wherever. It doesn't really matter. But I want to see it somewhere else <clears throat> um than C D C. The only thing I'll probably keep in uh C D C is anything that I can gain a percentage on. Ryan, thank you for that super chat. It might be a super sticker. I don't know, but thank you for it. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Any proof for burn? So the burn hasn't happened yet, um, but we do have um, the burn tweet that's coming out for them. Um, and I believe if you talk about the, the amount that has been burned, there has been things that have been reported. <clears throat> if we go here and we look at all the ones that have been burned, all the amounts that have been burned, you're going to see uh, MEXC leads the way, Lunic Dow leads, uh, has second, and then Lunatics token is 150 million, which they're going to be burning another 150 million um, today. Thank you for subscribing, ZZ. Hopefully I'm saying that right. All right. What coin do you buy Lunatics token with? Uh, BNB. Technically, you can buy it with, with anything. So I can go BUSD right now, spend my money and buy Lunatics token if I wanted to. Um, the price is determined by BNB, but you don't have to buy with BNB. You just buy on the platform of the Binance Smart Chain network. You can buy with anything, right? If it is on a BNB network, like I can buy with Zelda Inu if I wanted to. I literally take my Zelda Inu and, and buy with that. Oh, oh, Richard, thank you so much. Um, let me go back. Uh, my honest opinion is that we need uh, Do Kwon out of the picture. Nobody trusts him, and we would we would have more investors if he was not if he was not attacked to or attached to this project. I would sort of agree. I would sort of agree with that. That um, people don't like him. There's a lot of people that um, you know dislike what he does and what he says um, and what he has done. But I do think if we get some sort of push behind it. And I understand his intentions would be um, the wrong intentions because he would be looking to try and just turn this into a, a money maker and a money grab type of thing. Um, but if we can get his support, the amount of support that he has with the people behind him, it would be good. Um, so yes and no. Um, I think that provides more popularity, more interest, if you think about it, because any publicity is good publicity. So I, I guess, like I said, yes and no. It would be great uh, for the uh, the way we would build it, the way it would be uh, brought together if uh, he wasn't a part of it. 
But if he is a part of it, it brings a, a little bit of interest, a little bit more interest to it, as in a lot of people are looking to just gain money and not <clears throat> about uh, not um, focus on the growth of it or what it will be use case wise. So it's it's tricky. It's tricky to say whether you should support it with Doquan or without Doquan. Um, but all I know is he has a way of finding a way to make people money. And that's a good thing for a lot of people. Um, but then he also has a way of obviously with it getting attacked, loot making people lose money. So it's tricky. It's tricky. I'll, I'll leave it at that. But my answer is yes and no. <laughs> Which I always, that that's my problem, is I see both sides of things. And when I do see both sides of things, um, then that means I always have that like yes and no answer. Yes on this side, no on this side. Here's the reason why, here's the reason why. It's a good thing, it's a blessing and a curse because I can never have a definitive answer. I feel like, I don't know if anybody has seen um, The Good Place on Netflix. Um, it's also It was also on like TV. But um, The Good Place basically has this guy named Chidi, Chidi Anagonye and um, he can't make a decision. And that's the way that it seems is that I can't make a decision on if it's right or wrong because there's so many variables to so many different things. And that's exactly what he says. There's so many variables. Like he spent, I think it was like 30 minutes to pick a hat. And <laughs> that's what you call, you know, the fact that you have, uh, you can't, you can't make a decision. I don't even know what words I'm looking for but you can't. All right. So I'm going to have to get off here. Um, uh, it is nine 30. I have to take the kids to daycare. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification. Yeah. The good place is awesome. I love that show. Um, I watched it twice, maybe three times. I think, um, if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> Holy forking shirt balls. <laughs> Anyways. Um, uh, Doquan will definitely revive this project very soon. Otherwise, he'll be uh, shown as a a fraudster to the public. Then we'll will be moved to prison and tokens get delisted. The tokens won't get delisted just because Doquan. Well, maybe I don't know. He'll get the fork out of here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Again, if you guys want to get profit apparel gear, I don't have it on. But get profit apparel gear. Feel free to check that out. Link is in the description. Um, also, if you want to follow me on Twitter at Perry 8K, again, they're doing their burns today. I'll try and, you know, um, create some more videos. I plan on uploading a golf video soon. So if you want to support my golf channel, please do so. Um, because I, I recorded this video in technically Alabama, but I was in Florida at the time. I just was like right in between. I ended up going to like Orange Beach and all of that. But um, we, went to I went to this place in Alabama and played golf and it was a fun, phenomenal course. So uh, make sure you guys check out that video. I will be uploading it either today or tomorrow. Um, but I want to upload more consistently over there because I love golf. But uh, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.